What is up, Cryatics? In this video, I'm going to be giving a guide for this week's normal time trial, RC Bandito time trial, and the premium race for this week, totaling over $300,000. Remember that the time trials can only be completed once a week during the event week period for the full payout. The premium race, however, can be completed in a limited amount of times with a 48-minute cooldown between each win. Also keep in mind that rocket-powered slash flying vehicles cannot be used in time trials. So, starting off with the time trial this week, which is up Chiliad, I highly recommend are the Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, BF400, or Batty801 for the time trial. Now this time trial is pretty tricky, but if you use a bike and use the route I show, it should be pretty easy to beat. Now usually for these time trials, I challenge myself by picking either the prize ride challenge car or the casino podium car of the corresponding event week. And for this week, we have the Zion Classic as the casino podium car and the Comet S2 Cabrio as the prize ride challenge car. But unfortunately, both of those have no chance of beating the time trial, so I figured I would try to stick with a Comet variant by choosing the Comet Safari, and unfortunately this one was just too slow for the uphill section. So I didn't want to take the easy route and just use a bike to get the time trial done, I still wanted to complete it in a car, so I gave it a few attempts in the SE Sport, and I was able to finally beat it. Moving on to this week's RC Bandito time trial, which is Davis Quartz. As always, you need to own an RC Bandito in order to participate in these. So this one is pretty tricky if you've never done it before due to all the bumpy and tight areas. Make sure to let off the throttle to maintain the stability of your Bandito in those bumpy sections and break before most of the tighter ones. And lastly, we have this week's premium race, which is a sign of things to come. This one is restricted to the motorcycles class. I highly recommend either the Shotaro or Hakachu Drag for this race. 
Now this race is pretty tricky if you've never done it before, and I highly recommend practicing the regular version of it first before just jumping straight into the premium one. Be very careful with the off-road parts of this race because you can easily go off and crash. Other than that, it's not too difficult of a time trial. You just have to be very careful and very attentive as to what's going on around you and letting off the throttle a lot for the off-road sections. <clears throat> and that's it guys, the normal time trial is pretty easy if you use a bike. The RC time trial is pretty tricky, but just take it slow, use your brakes a lot and you should be fine. And this week's premium race might take some practice if you've never done it before. Again, remember guys, you can earn over $300,000 between the three of this week, and set up yourself to go to beat them is always a lot of fun in my personal opinion. Let me know which one you found most difficult, and what vehicles you used down below in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.